Welcome to my kitchen. It's Friday morning, Erev Shabbos, and I'd like to share with you the mitzvah of making challah. So at the moment I've got 200 millilitres warm water, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of sugar to the water, and then I'm going to add the yeast to that. I use fresh yeast, you can use dried yeast as well. Okay, so once we've mixed our yeast, our sugar and our two mil 200 millimetres of water, we cover it over and we just leave it to the side while we're making the rest of the challah. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to add our salt. That goes in at the bottom of the bowl. There we go. And then we add the whole bag of flour straight in after it, which is quite easy to do. I'm just going to make white colour today. I'm not going to make wholemeal, although it is quite a favourite with my children. Then we're going to add the sugar and we're going to add seven tablespoons. Then the next thing we're going to add is four ounces of oil. And I always just measure it out because I'm never quite sure if I get the quantities right, so that's four ounces of oil. And then we're going to add that onto the top there. You need to knead the dough in the mixer or by hand for approximately 10 minutes. It's always a good idea to take your rings off when you do this, when you knead the challah, don't forget, Put them in a safe place. We're going to oil a bowl with a little bit of kitchen roll. Just oil the bowl like this. Pop your challah in. Turn it over so it's coated with oil. And then cover with a damp cloth, a damp tea towel, and put in a warm place for a couple of hours. Okay, so we've now let our challah um, rise. It's risen beautifully in the, over the last couple of hours. And we're now going to do the most important part of the challah making process, which is taking challah. I've used less than two pounds, 10 ounces of flour. Therefore, all I need to do is take challah by taking a small amount of challah and putting it aside, either to burn it or to um, dispose of it in a dignified manner. Okay, so you take a handful of dough, and this is the fun part. This is the part that everybody enjoys. You roll out your challah and decide what sort of shape you'd like to make it. So we can make a three plat, which is a fairly simple plat, like this. It's a simple plat and gives you a simple looking challah shape. Okay, or we can make a four plat challah, which is slightly different. I'll try and do it slowly, I hope I don't get it wrong. Now that I know the video camera's on me, I probably will. And if you're looking for an explanation, if I do it any slower than this, it won't work out right. So I hope you followed that, you can play it and replay it <laughs> to see uh, how I did that one. I can explain to you how to do a six plat, which I shall do in just a second. Okay, so now we're going to teach you how to make a six plat. You take six strands, take the outer ones and fold them over opposite each other like that. And then you arrange the strands so you have three on one side, three on the other, and keep this as your middle. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the outer strand and bring it into the middle. And then take the second outer strand on the other side and take it over and then repeat from the other side. So the outer strand on the left now comes into the middle and the second on the right goes over. And then we repeat from the beginning. Hi girls! Hello! 
Okay, thank you for helping me make colours this afternoon. What are you going to make, Devorah? I'm making a swirly whirly snail with bubbles on it. Okay, that sounds interesting. And Hannah, what about you? I'm making Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, there we are. You can be as inventive as you like. Hannah, so now what we're going to do is we're going to egg the colours to make them all lovely and shiny and crispy on top. So we'll have an egg that one first. And here's Mickey Mouse going in. Okay, so I'm putting them in the oven. On 180 for about 30 35 minutes. There we go. Ooh, gorgeous colours for the shadows table. Let's have a look and see Hannah's Mickey Mouse and Devore's lamb in there. And this is the six plat, this one here. There we go on the shadows table. Ready for shoppers. Thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed our little challah baking demonstration. Have a wonderful Shabbos.